been mined. Sometimes it's incidental, like, yes, oh, this exactly. crack on the wall, you yep. aim at that. But I, I think we have gone back and added some decals and things like that to, like, I think, uh, you know, the path leading up to Squeaky, that yes. where all the nades are thrown. Yep. I think we had put some extra antennas and things there. Nice. Okay, that's always cool, because it's set pieces We're on back, Cash quite iconic. And yes, welcome back. You're just joining us. This is the first ever show match here, or first ever game played on the new version of Cash. You can see it's luscious and green. There's new opportunities, and we do see a push towards middle. The jump has been landed by Stewie this time as he makes his way down. This could be absolutely colossal. He pushes round. He's only good for one. The P250, no armor, is what takes him down. Elise is ready and waiting, and it will be a quick four and four. It actually helps out the teams quite a lot now, as they've actually got an AK-47. Config in the server as well. Didn't quite go well for Optic, but it always a oh. threat. Okay, Kenny's got the deagle and catches Jax's aggression. We talked about that, that mid-round aggression on Cash, always a big part of the play. Nitro boosted up and he's got the perfect weapon for the job. Round three with the auto sniper. tarek has got another one. Team Squeaky, they're making these unarmored sidearms work. Elysian trouble though. Ethan maybe stabilizing for him. He still hasn't died and it will conclude. Three to zero. Well, there we have it. That's a really nice round from Team Toxic. And um, we did see that jump nailed by Stewie there. As you mentioned, the first jump's just as difficult, but he seemed to make very light work of it. Nice access point. One question I wanted to ask you with the, the, the T truck towards their spawn area. Is that the same angle you can still boost and that look towards the white box? So it's slightly different. It's a little bit lower profile because okay. with the addition of the new window in mid, the, the sight lines there are a little bit different that we had to consider. Sure. But with the boost on top of that truck, you'd still be able to get some visibility. Excellent. That was always uh, a fun boost to come in. Speaking of fun, Stewie, 2K has picked up uh, an interesting weapon here. I think he's got the Negev out. So that's always a lot of fun to uh, see that being brought into the mix. And there it is, the, the mid window there. You can see even if you smoke towards the, the Z halls, you still have full vision on the CT side. Lovely shot from Kenny. Bit of an iconic cash sniper for sure as he opens things up towards Ethan. Gosh, jumping to Steel's POV and it's just, I'm like trying to process where I am in the map. Okay, pushed up on B by Toxic. Appropriate given the team name and the player. And we'll see. It was a joke. I love Josh. Let's all be friends. Come on. He says. He says, biting his tongue. <laughs> Well, the smoke's towards A main there. And interesting, we saw in the, the pregame that you can actually smoke towards a mid-entrance from the B bomb site now from Checkers, correct? So there's lots of options to back up your teammates now have less players potentially towards middle right. Well, oh, okay. speaking of less players, it's going to be serious <laughs> 2K lowering them down. It's the M249, I believe. So that's doing great work as we get into a three versus two now. It's up to Jack to try and salvage the situation, making his way through towards A main. And it'll be player towards Forklift, bomb planted in the default spot. I believe we have one player towards quad as well. He's going to have to step up here. First kill should be no problem whatsoever. However, Twist didn't see it coming. Tarek now AK-47 in hand, trying to take them down, but he's got problems ahead of him, but apparently not. Steel completely eviscerated by the AK there. Tarek doing God's work towards MBK. Are we still going to call it MBK, do you think? Oh. That, that remains? I th I th it's going to be a very hard habit to break. It's MBK. It is, isn't it? It always will be. I think it's been immortalized at this stage. Yeah. Oh, there is uh, some little Easter eggs here. I can spot. And dog, Bruce. Is it really? Well, we'll see if we can get that in for the beginning of the next round. There are some uh, Easter eggs creeping around here. For now, it's going to be Kenny S opening things up with a boost towards middle. The M249 spray down. This second frag onto to a lead. I mean, we're seeing a new meta established on cash here, Volcano. I'm joking. But uh, no, but that is... There it is. There's the yeah. Easter egg I was hoping for. Round of applause for Doggo. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> We love dogs here, and... Well, it's time to investigate B, ladies and gentlemen. It is, and you, there's lots of uh, new opportunities in terms of boosts here. Stewie won't be using them just yet, but nice. he's doing a lot of damage with that Deagle. And able to find the frag, Tarek will take him down, and you can see Steel dodging the flames, not quite. He'll take a little bit of damage. Now, is that wallbang potential towards check is still as potent as it was before? Yeah, that should be... That should remain the same. The did you just kill one there as well? Did Steel get it? I think he did. Got config. And there's more wallbangs coming in. The lineup was always a bit janky. Still has the lineup in his mind. There's the new boost there. This is the new boost. Yeah, I think this boost really shines for T's, particularly when CT's are going to be trying to read it. So right. a post-plant situation there. So you can see Kenny S trying to join him with the fun. He might get more than he bargained for, though. They're not checking Tarek's position as he starts to mow them down. Oh, it's a lovely round there. I think that's a really interesting point. So it benefits the CT's at the start of the round, but post-plant, if T gets up there, it's a really difficult yeah. position to flush out. So what was always interesting is, like, I imagine that headshot pre-fire was just bread and butter. Get checkers control. You're pre-firing headshot and then you procedurally clear. Now you're going to have that that second guess of from headshot to boost as a potential yeah. to clear. Yeah, and it, I think it is a bit of a gamble because if you get pop flashed and you're caught up on those pipes, right. you know, there's not really much to, to do other than stick it and fight. Have a go. Yeah, interesting. And so, but for the after plan, it wasn't something I considered when I initially looked at it, just how effective that will be. Tarek was just playing anti-flash up there and 
as long as you've got some cover. We Brutal. talked about CT aggression and the options mm -hmm. available to you. This is a bit of an eco round. You can see two players pushing towards Squeaky. So will the Teeth be aware of this? It was a classic push in the old version of Cash. You can see Nitro and Ethan taking full advantage there. Jack's doing things up. Lovely Deagle shot towards Elise, but they have got mid control on the team Squeaky side. And the CTs capitalize with this backstab coming in towards the mid warehouse. There's Nitro ready and waiting as we do see Ethan oh! not quite finding the frag, but Tarek will be taken down eventually. Gosh, this is aggressive Counter-Strike all over the place. Take a look at Z. New, of course, lines of sight available. Saw Nitro taking that earlier, but numbers advantage in favor of Team Toxic. Certainly not in the weapons department, though. No Kevlar. Retrieved AK for steel. Three Ts find themselves in middle. Let's have a look how they choose to approach this last 60 seconds of play. Well, it's going to be the advantage for Toxic, but it's Kelly S who will... Take things back to an even level. It's going to be a three versus three. Steel removed, and this was the eco, remember, for Toxic, so they don't really have a lot to work with, oh. but it's not slowing them down whatsoever. Jax gets the second Deagle frag. A bullet to the dome of Kenny S will give them the advantage now, but Twist and Config still alive and kicking. Twist with 100 HP, and they're going to try and pincer towards the A side. Config using the routes towards Highway as his teammate holds towards A main. The problem is they are separated. The bomb's on the back of Config, who's got low HP. If he gets dropped here, then a lot of trouble, and it will be a scout tag from Nitro as he finishes things off. Just Config, no HP. Admittedly, his teammates or his opponents don't have armor. He has a chance. It's a headshot angle. Jax finds it, and the fist bumps are in. Another one on the board for Team Toxic. Well, there we have it. 4-2. Team Squeaky need to pull their socks up here. So. One thing has always been said about Cash is one of the few maps in the pool we could actually say was T-sided. It was by a few percent, I would say, but do you feel like that's going to be the same outcome in this new version? It's difficult to predict, yeah. um, but I think there are quite a few things that do benefit the CTs here. Like On that topic as well, like if it's T-sided or slightly CT-sided, like, sure. I'm okay with those slight imbalances because I think Absolutely. it is good for the map pool if yes. all the seven maps have a little bit of unique flavor to them. Absolutely. But within reason, like you, you never want it going too extreme. Well. Yeah. No, I think it's great that the CTs have a, a bit more viable approaches towards middle, especially. That was always, for me, the most difficult area to yeah. contain. You'd have to have three CTs there with set smokes and really good synergy. Uh, there's a classic boost there, the old shroud spot. Yeah, is the, is the lamp that you can, you know, above the door, can you still get onto that angle as well? You can still get onto that. And on the shroud boost, there used to be like a, a pole in that corner that yes. restricted your movement. You couldn't get flush with the wall, but we removed that. So now you can hug that corner. So now you can be fully hidden up there. They can't speak. They can't, can't bang your toes. I, I, I think that would be hidden now. Okay, yeah, that's great. You can great. get a bit closer to the wall. Excellent. Well, Nathan, Nathan I should say, get the HEs towards the A main position. There it is, that's on top it. of the lamp. Doesn't last long, but down he goes. At least we get to see a proof of concept. Config battling on B. It's a difficult fight to take. In the meantime, A does look to be working out for the CTs. Two frags, leaving a liege and a Ooh, rather... That's a cheeky one. Oh, hello. That's new. Doesn't work out for Ethan. A liege. Gets an easy frag, and this round is far from over. Still be on the, the I was going to say retake, but we will see, of course, if he chooses to advance early. Yes, a new box to play with as well towards the truck wall. Bomb down. What utility do they have? Maybe Steel's been watching the tutorial. Get that Molotov towards quad. It's bullets that do the work. It's Nitro to finish it. Lovely stuff. I really like that box towards the, the CT wall as you're retaking because before, if one flashbang came over, your only option was doing hold dance. left and just run to the wall and hope for the best. Yeah, right? a lot of times you wouldn't really want to leave the safety of the truck until your teammates Exactly. If you get caught out with the pop, you're, you're as good as dead. Yep. But now you can get one guy, get some foothold in there while your team's rotating. I, I must ask, is that box spammable at all? If you're a T-side and you think someone's behind there, can you can you wallbang this box? Is that, that safe the cover? the corners can be shot through. Uh, I would have to double check if the whole thing can be shot through. It looks like it, with the barrel there as well, especially it looks like if you just tucked yourself yeah, in, you, 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 the you'd, barrel, be you'd be fine. Yeah, that, that's interesting because that was just such a classic. You try and rotate into the bomb site, one flash would come over, and that would be it for you. Just have to hold in the corner and hope for the best. That exchange between the the you know the the first T out on fork with that, the clearing of truck and the, the truck wall, going to be a bit of a different exchange now. And we're into another round of play. Team Toxic have a firm lead. Good spray coming out from Ethan. Damages up two of the advance straight through mid. They have got their mid smoke still working. And Nitro's already found a jump peak for info. Aggression from Config punished and traded. Did find Ethan in the meantime, though. So that's exactly what I wanted to see. You can see the classic Z smoke deployed there, but there's still an option for Nitro to be part of the round. He's not completely eradicated now, so that's excellent to see him. Like, able to get one kill, he's not in too much danger. It's still a chance for him to kill him, but his aim can prevail as Tarek will push through the smoke. He'll expect a lot of this. A three versus two. Steel's got to hold on. He's got the Krieg in hand, but not for long. Elise will take care of him. And Jax has had a decent game so far. AWP will be trying to make his way towards the B site. Great first shot. And now he's actually given himself a proper chance there against his teammate Kenny S. Waiting 
towards the B bomb side itself. Flashbang comes in. He avoids it for now. He's got a kit available, but two players to find. See if he can give us a simple impression. For a lead, timing's not great, has a go. But a lead will secure the third for Team Squeaky. Excellent stuff. Okay. One thing really I cool. want to point out there, too, is we saw Nitro up on that window, the shelf position. Yep. And he started getting wall banged through by the T's once they suspected he was up there. Okay, so how much is that doing, like, significant damage there? Or is it just enough to kind of dissuade him from that position, would you say? It seems like just enough to dissuade him. Yeah. I think he took a, a headshot there. like two there, bullets or he, something? Yeah, yeah, and he dropped down to about 30, 40 health. That's perfect though, right? Because yeah, you just want to get that sort of position, you're not holding it for the entire uh, interaction. You just want to get one kill, drop down, and just kind of slow them down and make things a bit more problematic for them. So we're going to see more of a mid-focus here for the CTs on their force fight. Also, shotgun towards middle. Config's got his work cut out for him. He's doing a great job so far though. Drops down, and it's the Zeus from Stewie. He gets the AK-47, and now he's cooking with gas. That's one way to do it. It looks so good from Config's POV until Stewie arrived with the Zeus. Ethan's 5-7 in the feed as well. Kenny, aggressive out of main. He's going to have more than perhaps he bargained for. He does fall back just a little bit. Could have got caught on the cross. Still thriving. Stewie on the cross as well from highway. Oh, and eliminated his teammate. Not today. Finds his head. Oh, that's Jeez. a filthy little shot from Twister. Preemptive towards the connector. It's going to be steel to go down. Gets a taste of the AK, and it's going to be Twister to finish things off. That's a very Twist-esque round, Alex, I have to say. It certainly is. Yeah, and one thing I wanted to call out there is we saw Stewie get that Zeus kill in mid, and he was using the new roof there to his advantage. So if you go to that aggressive spot um, close to the T mid boost, yeah. You used to, uh, it used to be a pretty difficult shot position in the head, because right? you get shot in the head. Yeah, you need to be looking up, looking forward. So now there's a little bit of cover there. That's interesting too. It was previously like a pipe, right? A very yeah. kind of thin pipe. You could still see them. So now, the pipe still remains, but it's a, now got a, a ledge a full above ledge. it. So you yeah. can actually get some decent cover, even if you're flashed. And sure, you can still be Molotov there, but it means you can't just be completely overwhelmed as soon as you're flashed. Yeah. You're not going to have any cover whatsoever. So that's a nice little change that makes that position a bit stronger on the CT side. That's. Classic Molotovs being thrown towards middle. I like the fact that the same smokes, the lineups they used to know, muscle memory. I, I know all the smokes towards middle as well. Yeah. It seems like everything is just as viable as it was before. It certainly is. I mean, you just get, the visuals may have changed, but your muscle memory certainly stands. Oh, the same. Oh. Elite is a robot. No worries. He gets a quick double. You can see he's, he's still feeling himself there he at the is. end of the round, you know, flicking back and forth as his yeah. teammates are TKing him. That was insane. We've seen a couple of players, I think Breezy and Elige, at this tournament and a couple prior. There's something to do with the Krieg and, and those guys and their mechanical ability. It just looks ridiculous. Sure, the first is nothing to write home about, but just look how easy that is. What? Easy for him, I should specify. Impossible for most of us. Well, there we have it. That was a great round. Fantastic work. Where's that Molly going? He's trying to Molly Z, or perhaps the new one. Well, they're trying to show mid-presence here. With all the smokes deployed, they're going to go for a fast A attack, trying to keep the presence towards that side of the map. But Jax is having none of it. Lovely work from him to get a couple of kills. And here comes the retake now. Nitro trying to deny everything before they even get close to the bombsite here. At least looks like he's in trouble. He does steal one kill away. It's frantic, it's chaotic, but still stepping over the orb. Weapon don't see too much of. And now we've got a double orb set up. Now, that was something that was very viable in the old iterations of Cash. Have you had orbs in mind with the, the redesign here? Are there any more other angles apart from the mid-shelf that you can think of that the orbs are really going to benefit from? Yeah, the other big one would be the truck at CT spawn. Okay, absolutely. That makes the angle sense. Of quad. That was definitely an opera's type of angle right. that we're keeping in mind. Yeah, and one thing we discussed before this game is that the fact that, yeah, sure, those, those positions are available and T's can still do something about it, but it costs them more utility. It's not so much a, a one smoke and gain access to a bomb site situation anymore. Yeah, there used to be a bunch of one smoke executes you could yeah. do, and you can still do them, but they won't be quite as effective, exactly. especially if the C CTs are prepared for it. Um, and a lot of times, T's would win a lot of utility engagements. So this should take a little bit more utility oh, out of it. I was going to ask that Pronax boost towards A main. I was wondering if that was still prevalent. That looks like it's still just as viable as it used to be. So at least going towards events. We haven't seen much action towards this area. I assume you can still boost in there from the CT side. And there's going to be Nitro holding from the quad. This was a classic setup here. I'm going to be a bit more passive on A, leave middle open, and just have the AWP watching towards highway. Someone watching the vents, and this enabled them to have mid control. Sometimes still, you had to do that. Still equally as effective, yes. clearly. Towards B, though, Stewie's going to be tested. And Orp. And three players hunting him down. That's the first, misses it. Config, low HP, doesn't matter when the bullets don't connect. And Stewie's in trouble. He's surely not going to get a single frag. And Tarek's along there for the trade. This is Squeaky's sight, Squeaky's round. And you can see, gosh, it is beautiful. Why? I've never thought I'd, I'd sit here and admire some rotting wood, but that's some nice looking rotting wood for sure. I agree. Shout out to FM Pome. The B site. 
iconic for Cash, really. It does look really cool in there now. The redesign, like, it looks really aesthetically pleasing. We still have the same window as well. We're not going to see too many technical executions right. in this particular matchup, but you can still do all the same Molotovs and smokes you were able to before. I believe the, the same markings are there. Um, one thing about Cash towards its lifespan in the old iteration was the Molotov executions towards the B side were pretty fun to watch. You could have like three or four Molotov land all over the site, smoke towards heaven and CT spawn. But I like the fact now we have the, the, sh the boost position in the back of the B side. That won't be as effective. It's still viable. You just have to eradicate some certain positions where the CTs aren't completely done for. I'll give it five seconds until Astralis have a molly for that boost. Uh, just straight from I, Yeah, do you know if that's possible? It's Sal, burning. To actually Molotov that's a good the... question. I didn't try it, but I feel like it would be possible. I think it looks like there's enough gas. The bottle would there. break for sure. sure. And it would presumably spill down towards headshot as well. It so could you do could, both. You, that would be really cool if you could pull that one off. Mm. One, you put one, one quite deep so they can't run to CT, and you put one yeah. on that pipe to bleed them to the back. They have forced onto the site. It's possible, and it will be interesting to see how it continues to develop. A fast peek from Kenny on B. It's a chance, and Nitro receives him. No worries. Just to ask as well, I'm, I'm sure I know. Oh, hold on. <gasps> are, are the spawns exactly the same? Have you adjusted yeah, spawn timings? We didn't tweak any of the spawns. Okay, well, there we go. Now we're going to see an exchange from Jax with this new hole in the wall. It makes Twist's advance up highway a whole lot more risky. You have a smoke on Z, you are free. 15 seconds for take your highway control. Now he's got to be a little bit more conscious as he exposes himself. Nice catch from Steel with his scavenged away Krieg. And it looks like the CTs are going to be doing a whole lot with a little here. New door. Oh. And it's equal stuff. It looks like a thicker door. I assume the bullet damage hasn't changed. It might be slightly less. Oh, interesting. Be, yeah, that would be a good one for me to double check. Though. Yeah. Because, I mean, that was always the amount of times we've seen in professional camps. It was Stewie 2K who played that position. That, yeah. He would go on the T side or squeaky door and actually somehow get kills from like that fork, door. Like fork, highway. Like headshots coming through that door. Like, it was insane what he was going to do on that position. But uh, there's a 5-7 coming to action. Uh, here we go. Team Toxic and Team Squeaky. Actually pretty level right now. It's 7-6 as we get to the penultimate round. 14. As Jax goes to that mid-control, the classic mid-smoke to block vision from the likes of Tarek as he tries to get closer and closer. And now he's going to have his work cut out for him. But it's going to be Tarek not checking the close position. And that's just him alone. Or can he just have to go for the, the repeat? You can see him being very aware <gasps> of the window. But he doesn't seem to be shaken at all. That's a lovely shot towards Jax. One bullet is all that's required. Nonsense. Stewie got the line towards main. Has the support from Ethan from up high. Jump peeking for the info. Everything feels the same. You can see this is all too familiar territory for Stewie as he does catch Kenny. After his early heroics with the AK-47, Twist then looking for a one versus three. North American's magician. North America's map. 1v3. Here we go. Does get the first catch. It's Nitro on the truck and another. Steel Court trying to piece together where the last could be. It is going to be Stewie 2K. Misses the shot. Stewie off. Oh. He's getting hunted. It's Twist with a one versus three. The first clutch on cash. Yeah, that's a big one as well. That's going to sting. It ties things up a 7-7. Seven seven. We'll have a look at the frag charts while we're here. See who's really feeling it so far. Alige, of course, we've seen some no unspeakable surprise. things from him with the Krieg. He's got 15 and 9. Tarek and Twist both with 11 frags. Um, so they're doing a great job. And we'll see Ethan at the very top for the season. That's a new angle, isn't it? Could yep. you, you couldn't see truck from, the bo from just outside main box before, like the shroud boost. Yeah, so that APC has a bit of a slope to it on the edge. So he's, he's so, yeah. catching Nitro on top of that truck. New headshot angle to start off that clutch. Now to B, still to be tested. Only the scout and doesn't quite connect the shot. Has a second chance, looking to escape. A flash and a smoke deployed as he does Scarpa, but he's in so much trouble. So many people looking for him already. One player does fall on the CT side, still soon to be added to that list. And this final round is going to be a quick one. A quick B take it is, and actually aggression. He's going to be ready to receive. Now is his chance. Not going to be able to find the double. He shuts me right up. Jackson. Still. Oh, he's oh. being hunted. It's a life battle here in Brooklyn. Kenny will sort things out and leave Stewie in a 1v3. Kenny do what Twist did. Would be the ace clutch. I think it's a bit too tall of an order, and it's an eight, seven, half. Oh, there we go. Hey, you talked about you wanted to see the bias. Well, couldn't be more equal than that. Well, that was a very entertaining half. It certainly had it all. Knife kills, auto snipers, clutches, and impressive frags. Hopefully, more of that after this break. Trying. 
to find ways to make you stay Sarah I want to go away, close my eyes, never wake up again You come and you go You take me high, you take me low But I don't know how to do this on my own anymore Oh no Now it's my lead for the melancholy Cody, fill a hole inside me Damned if I do, damned if I don't Now it's Zanny, still I know my psyche Cocaine just to feel my heartbeat Nothing to lose, nothing to gain Don't want your empathy I just want another enemy I'm not gonna change a thing for you I'm over middle ground And I really wanna burn it down I'm not your friend And I won't pretend I am So don't reach out and I'm me that I'm under siege and I need you to see that You're on one side, I'm on another And we will wage war upon each other I'm no angel, you're not either I'm out of favor, bitch, you're out of leisure In place, I'm unscathed, I'm unafraid A warm welcome to the war game Gentlemen, welcome back. A momentous occasion live from the Barclays Center, ESL 1 New York. A grand final to come, but a cash show match right on into the action. Star studded rosters, Team Toxic, Team Squeaky, and New York. Good afternoon, New York. Are you with us? Of I'll course, take that absolutely. We are going to be jumping into our second half, and I say we introductions for those of you that have just joined us. We have the legendary Volcano joining myself and Henry G at the casting desk. You've just seen the first half of professional play on this map, the one you've been, you know, not only being your child, as FM Pone put it, but you've been playing with it again, re returning to your child and, and refining your child. I hate this analogy already. <laughs> yeah, you've already uh, gone, you've ran with it. <laughs> thank you, yeah. <laughs> uh, you had a good half? You enjoy that one? Yeah, I mean, it couldn't be closer. We saw some, some knife kills, we saw Zeus kills, we saw yeah. auto sniper kills in the Gev. That's true. That's oh. such a good point. The M249 and the Gav, I, I love to see it. And we've got two Deagles here on the T pistol. A little bit of a boost towards middle as well. What are the CTs? And the former Team Squeaky got in store here. They're going to get configured towards the vents. He was it, thinking about doing the strafe. Yeah, you can jump up to those rollers. Is that still possible? I assume it is up here, right? They haven't yep, changed the yep, space. That uh, looks like it's still possible. You can boost up onto those. Uh, either way, here comes a Deagle, Stewie 2K, looking to open things up in style. Don't see too many of those these days on a T-Pistol, but uh, always very exciting to watch. As you can see, Toxic taking a very tentative approach here. They want to make sure they shut down any CT aggression at the start of the round, and they have no utilities. They're really relying on those Deagles and a bit of a ruse here towards the A site Ooh. as they set up towards B. Yeah, good catch. Kenny onto Nitro, but towards oh. B they go, and it's completely wide open. Jax has already aggressed. Catches them towards the... Speedway, and now two from Vents. This is going to be an interesting exchange for Jax. He's already been eliminated, and for now, four versus three. The CT's on the retake, having no trouble. Config and Kenny still <gasps> fights one back, and Stewie, no armor on that Deagle, but he still finds the head. Leaves Steel all alone, doesn't even have a chance to show his POV. The CT's 
despite the site being taken by Toxic, have no issues on the retake. Yeah, that's interesting, considering they got the open side essentially there, got the kill towards spawn as well, they still fall apart as the retake comes in. It is going to be Squeaky getting the lead here in the second half, 9-7, to seven, and uh, they're on the CT side now. I would say it's the, the more favoured side in terms of when you get win the knife, and you still want to kind of start CT, but a lot of people would say it was always a slightly more T-sided map, but it felt more comfortable kind of organizing things and allowing your opponents to uh, plan their attack against you. But here's the retake coming through. Kenny S, he's the great in this show match so far. He's had a fantastic tournament here in New York. And we'll see the force by coming in in the second round. This is... Uh, Today's game, it we've seen this almost every game. single time the bomb's planted and the T-Pistol, you lose it, they will be buying up with rifles in the second round. Luckily, the rifles are there on the CT side as well. At least, beautiful shot towards Ethan. And so that new window is kind of a counter position to the T-Boost. Right. That's a good point because before you, you didn't, it was so difficult to challenge. You could sit towards Z, but they got to pre-fire that every time. And now you've got two angles. You can't just run up there as a T and have just pre-fire one spot. There's two angles to look at now. And right? I mean, I'm already envisioning the, the, the powerful crossfires. Actually, taking a look at Stewie's perspective, you can jump for that info at least. But the idea of having someone perhaps sandbags holding the that side of the box and then having someone just holding that vent cross. I mean, that you, there is so many opportunities to hold middle in new and refreshing ways. New box, of course, on this wall. It gives Elysia a little bit of an eye line over the precipice of that smoke. Two, maybe three crossing in soon. 19 frags from Elysia. Oh my god, he dinked another one. Nitro, just 10 HP. He still wants to push in, still aggressing all alone. One man army still going. Finally, silence by Nitro. He's got more to do though. Left alone with 10 HP, two to find. Admittedly, they're tagged. He's got a shot bomb down. Not even gonna have an opportunity. Config ready and waiting for the swing on quad. So on top of that new box where Elysia was, where he was there. It was, it's a pretty strong spot, but you have to really be careful of A main. And so in his case, he was using the T smoke against them. Yes. But I wonder if T's are going to adapt where they place their default smokes because of that. Just something to keep an eye on. Because yeah. the default smoke was between the box and fort, right? That kind of separator that enabled them to just sneak out main from the truck, the truck angle. Well, then it will be 10 to 7. They're going to be force buying again as uh, we still can go 2 0 down. There's going to be bursting up with scouts. A Krieg, Deagle, and a PC-50. It's all looking good. Alex, you know what? I think that was Earth. That was Jax's call. Cool. Yeah? yeah, he's just like, you know what, boys? Well, he's the French, right? That's, the that's, the, that's how it's the French, French way. play Counter-Strike. Yeah, it's true. So he'll be going for the pick towards middle. The wall bang's still there. There were some really fun wall bangs in this map. Yeah, you yeah. remember the, the 147 shot you could shoot towards connector. Is there anything like that you've intentionally put in? Any things you're hoping people would find? Or well, so that one is still there. It's still and, going. Uh, so now you can smoke CT or T-mid from CT in the Z through the yeah. window. Yeah, okay, cool. And so there's less reason to run out exactly at 149. Exactly, okay, that smoke. makes sense, right. So it's still possible to bang that, but it's not necessarily going to be happening too often. Yeah. Yeah, I almost completely forgot about those spawn wall bangs all the way through to Z. Out main goes steel. Connect. Oh, they're pulling this one back. I'm looking, no worries at all. Config's not really got the weapon or the health for the job. Confirmed by steel. Nice hold, nice frag on towards him. 8 to 10, the scoreline. Double digits reach for Team Squeaky. Oh. So you saw the uh, the change in, in well, you know, no, I just saw them thinking live. The first round, the round prior, Stewie was jump peeking with a scout, realized the angle needs a boost, gets the boost and holds that line. And now it's gonna, we're going to be seeing some procedural changes as this match concludes as they try and find a way to, to well, deal with the new window. Yeah, I mean, they're all seeing this for the first time, so they're problem, problem solving on the go. Exactly, it's fun to watch. Oh, here comes the B push. The Bizon is out as well. It's Stewie 2K that can't connect the dots. He does a little bit of damage at towards Twist, who picks up the uh, one of the most useless weapons in the game, I would say. But uh, it's got 64 bullets, but it's like BB pellets. No, it's, yeah, 64 packing peanuts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he realizes that it's not looking good, but it is a nice distraction for Tarek to come in and take down Nitro. Wow. Remain. Tarek, he did something rather absurd. Double kill with his Deagle. He won't be caught. In fact, he actually wants another one. Swings back out. Dealt with by Jax. Oh, there's so many. He's dealing with it. Finally shut down by Kenny's repositioning. Doesn't connect. Ethan left in a 1v2. Oh, he had a go. Just whistles past the ear of a liege and a roar from the crowd and indeed the team. It looked like Jax was totally caught off guard by the new position there. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't even considering it because he's, he's got the, uh, the adrenaline pumping. 
his muscle memory's going, he's got his first what, two frags. Before you were thinking about sandbag, Z and white box, right? That was a, your kind of your three the targets sweep. with the extra one there as well. And you can't really do too much to smoke out that, that, T, uh, that CT window, right? Like it's, it looks like the angle will be a little bit more difficult. There's no set smoke from what I can see. These guys will know it for sure. Um, but it looks like the CT will always have that angle available to them from what I can see so far. Presumably you could throw a Molotov while running into that position to yep. guarantee control, but it doesn't look like you can do much from the outside near From the get-go. Yeah, to actually lock that one off. Is that, is that something that you've, uh, you've been checking to see how easy it is to lock down that window with utility? Yeah, so you can definitely throw a jumping Molotov from the T-boost, okay. uh, behind the T-boost. Yeah. And with the Molotov, you can basically smoke anything at that point. Sure, so as long as you get smoke on that flames. But that's a huge investment of utility, so at least there is a, a price to be paid for removing that vision. Yeah. Interesting. And just to be clear as well, all skyboxes remain the same. So the execution smoke from outside the A side towards Squeaky, they're still just as viable as they were before. So right? one point to mention is the building between uh, the T side of A and uh, the CT side, that building has been lowered. Yes. So any existing smoke should still be possible, but new ones might also be available. That's cool. Well. Okay, that's really awesome. Well then, here's going to be Alij and Config taking the advantage here. They have got an 11-8 lead so far. It's Jax and Steel to try and pick up the pieces. They've got an AK and a Krieg. Relatively healthy, still down to 86, makes his way out the squeaky door. Smoke down, and it looks like he'll be dropped as well. Four versus one. Jax has been playing very well indeed. 16 kills to his name. Coming through Z here, but he's been out positions and presumably taken down. Tarek doesn't make the cleanest of kills, but they all count, and it will be a solid lead now. The money should be an absolute tatters on the T side, but they're not shy of a force by Alex. I'm not uh, even going to suggest they're going to take an eco. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be seeing a single eco here in this show match. Team Toxic starting to dig themselves into a hole. Ethan confirming. He fancies his chances with the scout. Seeing a lot of Spider-Men in the crowd. More frags from Elyse. He hasn't had many poor performances here in New York. Looks like we got an op out of Kenny, so let's see how he handles these new angles. Perfect. You said you were hoping to see it. Elyse, though, aggressive into May. No worries. He wants to get this done. Yeah, so that's a really powerful incendiary. If you can get that down on the CT side, it means you have full control of A-Man, especially that bomb down. That's going to be uh, a very powerful spot. They're going to rotate everyone down there. They're going to smoke it, incendiary. And uh, these wall bangs are I never saw many kills in this spot, but I knew the damage was possible. I, I assume it's the same values in terms of that sort of spam. It will do some damage, but not an awful lot. It might not be identical damage, but okay. yeah, it should be very similar. Hello, Tarek. Another one added to the tally. Three nice kills in this game to start off the return of DE Cash. Well, Stewie's got his work cut out for him, five on one. Uh, doesn't look good to say the least. He can't jump through that window. It looks like it's just uh, a nice little letterbox of death. Yeah, that was very intentional to not let people yeah. get through it. That's good. I feel like that would just make things a little bit awkward trying to jump through, like there's not really any reason to do so. I guess it would be something you could maybe had a crazy boost on the T side to go yeah. through it, but that might be too much. <laughs> Can you imagine yeah. that? Just somehow triple boosting. Like, oh, okay, yeah. I'm going to stop. Yeah. <laughs> just sounds absurd. Well, yeah, and it would also open a sight line up from that window to the A bomb site with somebody like hanging off of a oh, ledge. Of course. Yes, yeah. that, that would be too much. Yeah, that'd be too, too, too much a strong angle. Nice knife kill from Tarek. You'd like to see that. The left, right, good night. And now we'll see 13-8 come through. Money's having to stabilize though. Toxic did actually take an eco in the previous round. It's a classic play. Ethan using the flashbang to get himself out towards the middle. Quick push towards Ooh. the vents here. He's got to push through so many flames. And it's going to be Config, who's ready and waiting. Actually makes that kill his. And now Jax will bring things back to a 4-4. Four four. Tarrant trying to back up his teammate the best he can. The flashbang's deployed. The swing comes through, but He's it's on not the new quite spot. enough. He's on the new lamp post. We'll see if it's going to catch them off guard. They're not going to necessarily be checking this or not. Never mind. Still, he's done his homework. Catches him. Nitro as well on the way into the site, catching twists, leaves Kenny miles away. Bomb not yet down, but feels like almost an impossible task. Walking from B. Two side entrance. We're gonna follow his sweep. Headshot the first to check, and bullets already been thrown in his direction. Impossible shot to hit. Just the pixel of his opponent's head, pushed and finished by Steel. He's loving it. I'm sure this is, a th I mean, you don't get to do this every day. Not only play cash, but also play with these kind of players on a stage like this, with a crowd like this. It's, uh, it's fun. It's fun yeah. to be a part of. Steel's having a game for himself here, too. He is. Proving himself. Proving his worth. See that again from his perspective. He was ready for that off the box as well to catch Tarek by surprise.
So the boost being asked for. Ethan's not interested. We'll see the twists going aggressive in middle. This was always seen as such a huge risk. Too much changing around this side of the map. Oh, I like this from Kenny. This is a bold move of the AWP to push towards Squeaky. If you can make it work, you're in a fantastic spot. He will be taking down Nitro there. Probably doesn't know what the hell has happened to him. And Twist using the incendiary just to retreat from uh, the difficult spot he's found himself in. He's at 46 HP. Toxic still with three players alive, looking to find double digits here. Kenny, though, great spot. Pulls back from the push he made towards Squeaky, and now he's looking for the cross, and he might have to come into action here as Ethan opens things up. Kenny, great for the first frag, really awkward for the rest. He's going to have to go aggressive. He invents a brand new flashbang, didn't quite work out, and, ooh, I mean, goodness, not far from lining up, but that will be around for the tease, a necessary one to keep things close. It's going to be 13 now to 10. Toxic finding themselves their double digits. Yeah. Looks like maybe they're kind of getting their stride here, figuring it, seems it out. that way. Yeah. Well, how many rounds have they got here on the T side? So it's currently 5-3 in favor of the CT forces. But they've got two rounds in a row now, and still top fragging, 18 kills. You're right, he is feeling himself. He's rolling back the years somewhat there. And uh, we'll see now with the money completely ruined on the CT side. I feel like we've got a, a tactical timeout. What is this from the CTs? Yeah, yes, Mike Unmuted, oh. Chad Sponge Birchall going to be uh, giving his opportunity. He's a, he's a cash or cash specialist. He is. So uh, Does that hurt your ears every time you hear that? His Australian butchering of your, I'm not going to use it again, your, your map. You know, I thought people would mispronounce cash, but maybe not in that way. Cash? Yeah. Gross. A I whole nation. It, A whole nation. <laughs> it's endearing. <laughs> yeah, well, I agree. And uh, it still makes me smile when I hear it slip out because he's tried to change it. He's tried to call it cash, but when he's, when he's getting passionate, cash does slip out for sure. Cache is the one I was expecting. Cache, yeah, yeah. yeah. Paper cache. Well, you've helped me do loads of really terrible puns about cash the map and cash the, the money. That was always a nice, nice and easy one, so I appreciate that. No problem. Oh, what is this? Oh, a variation? Oh, that's so cool. So that's you can boost better. instead of using the ladder. This gives you like your head peeking up instead of the whole body. That is a really cool idea. I'll bet you could wallbang that as well. We saw Nitro take some bullets from well, the other direction. It looks like the bomb is down towards A as well. So I'm hoping to, to see some Kenny S action here. Well, he's got the AWP. His teammates were just eagles. He's going to have to step up and go above and beyond as he waits towards the CT truck. Remember, you can see the angle now. The player's crossing towards quad. And that's the one we're looking for. That's the AWP angle. And that's lovely. He's going to take Ethan down and still looking for more here. Tarek will back him up. He's going to get a second bite of the cherry. So he crosses over and pre-firing that position. Kenny will start to reposition here. Steel, who still gets going to go down from the forklift position. 2-2K, taking a little bit of damage there, and it's going to be down to Kenny. Remember, the only player that came into this round with a real weapon, his teammates had Deagles. They took an eco, but here he comes. A classic clutch <laughs> for Kenny S. Have you ever seen anything like it? That's what we wanted to see with the AWP. He dies on old cash. He's against the wall. There is no cover there. That's now he point. has it. Tarek couldn't take the shot. It's a headshot fight for Kenny. Precision, sure. But there you go. Perfect example here in the show match. Let's see it again. First catch wouldn't be possible. Second, not possible. It's all brand new. Nitro and Stewie getting caught out, and he's feeling himself. That's a vintage Kenny S clutch. On a map like cash as well, that's got to warm your heart, Sal. Yeah, that's what we wanted to see. That's exactly what we wanted to you see, are. right? That's more than we could have expected. <laughs> oh, that, that could be it, because now they're 14-10 up. That was an eco, essentially. The force buying Kenny to bring the orb out. Four deagles, no armor. There's one deagle killed there, and a Kenny S one versus three. You just love to see it. Double orb set up now. will be Tarek joining in with the orb responsibilities. I want to this boost workout. As you can see, it's just designed to stop that fast approach towards the boost position. Tarek will be landing a shot towards Stewie, looking for match points here as he flashes in Convic. Convic feeling himself, wants to see if he can open things up. He wouldn't necessarily expect this push. He's done so much damage bang. there. That's, that's a, I mean, there you go. I, that is something that has changed. That's a fight he could have potentially won earlier due to the wallbang sh changes, or the texture changes. Material? I don't know what word. I'm not a map designer. Material changes. Yeah, don't so we'll go short. Sure. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, I made a Call of Duty 1 map once. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. How old were you then? Like nine years old? Yeah, me and my friend, uh, we just put low gravity on, and it was a box. Do you still have it? I'd love to play it. Sure, yeah. man. Yeah, and we made it so that the, the bolt action rifle fired a bazooka. We were oh. really having a go. We were let's, really let's get on the Steam Workshop. Yeah, we'll see what I can do. <laughs> Kenny, not quite going to have the same success he had in the round prior, at least not to start things off. Tagged down to 22. Steel's already out, and this does seem to be a very powerful position. Look at the, the angle he can adopt. Of course, vulnerable because of his scope to a fork swing, which is exactly where Elise presents himself. Deals with it on top of the sight. It's twists. Headshot angle. Leaves Ethan and Nitro. 40 seconds. 
try and make this T side work. The bullets overwhelming, certainly towards Squeaky Nitro left of his own devices. Quick start. Config caught, 30 seconds. And it's Kenny. Whew. You peak, you lose when Kenny's in the server. One thing to point out there is we saw Kenny in the highway, and there's these guardrails along each side of highway. Mm. Um, and you can get on those to change your height, mix up a little bit. So the pre-fire is a bit Yeah, old. and you can get some different angles looking over the white box towards vent from there. Oh, I see that now. Okay, I didn't notice that. So you can actually jump on those either side and just have a different So you can angle. peek middle from over the white box on that. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's pretty cool. We'll get to see that, I'm sure, whether or not it's now or when it's available. Just a quick reminder, when, 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 when will... The general public have a chance to run around on cash. So the plan is on October 10th, it'll be on the Steam Deck. Cool. So October 10th, you'll be able to run around and, and find all of the smokes that the players haven't been able to. Look at Elige. He's got, quote unquote, the most useless weapon, but still catches Jax. Kenny and Tarek then, looking to win this one right here, right now, up against four. Good start. Still be caught on his push towards fence. They're already starting to forge a path, though, towards B. Tarek a little late to this party, but he's not got the weapon for the job either. What's going to do with this century? Yeah. yeah, what's the plan? Jumps through, my goodness, he had a shot. So did Nitro. Oh, here we go again. Kenny S, one versus three. Do you believe, Henry? I am always believing this guy's got the, the magic stick in his hands. We'll see what he can do with it. It's going to take some heroics here, and that's not a bad start at all. Still is low as well, dropping the smoke, trying to buy himself some space here. The flashbang to follow it up. He's going to push through it, I believe, but he does... Not fancy it right now. Going to go for a wall bang potentially as he heads towards heaven here. And now, oh, Steel's been spotted. Oh, it's happening. Oh, he's, seen it. <laughs> he's so good. <laughs> Feeling himself, nearly gets it. Steel can't quite believe it, but there's a necessary round for Toxic in order to keep this game going. 11 to 15. Damn. Well, they had Bizons there on the CT side. Yeah. That was interesting. So they've got four rounds so far on their T side. Haven't quite been able to figure it out to the same degree. Well, they've got four lives left. Overtime seems to happen in every show match we play. That's true. This one doesn't seem to be any different. The Bizons are being poor on the CT side. They're really going for it. <laughs> Three Bizons, Deagle, CZs. Perfect. In the early days of Go, I actually used to favor the Bison on Ecos because people didn't force by it as much. It used to be, we used to have an IRC channel called Viva Le Bison in the early days in the beta because it was such a powerful weapon. Yeah. It was too strong of anything. But then they just nerfed it to oblivion and made it the worst gun in the game. So what a disparity that was. The P90 was also up there. That's right, P90 the, was the rifle. The, that was S tier. Um, a tier was the Bison. It was, uh, it was pretty crazy times. Sui 2K making light work of the Bison users here. Team Squeaky really trying to sabotage our own finances and chances of winning the game, it seems. <laughs> yeah, nothing really for the remaining three to do. It's just a question of time. Perhaps Kenny can catch Ethan here on the aggress towards Squeaky. It's going to be a double push. Pays off for Kenny, gets himself a rifle. Bomb, however, on the other side of the map, and so is almost the entirety of the opponent forces. Aggression, though. Long, hard shot for Twist to hit. Does do some damage. Double tag onto Stewie. That down to six, but they're so far away. This will be Toxic's 12. Still ensuring it, and Kenny forced to Scarpa. Maybe a tactical timeout required on the CT side. Yeah, get He's their coach involved. Jordan, nothing. Gilbert, of course, behind uh, one. Chad Sponge Virtual, the other. Their money's not looking great. Yeah, it's really not. CTs might want to take a tactical time out here and discuss, like, take a full eco. Let's, let's calm down. This is, this is getting out of control now. The Bizons aren't working out, surprisingly. Um, maybe reevaluate the, the strategies and uh, overall complexion of the buys here. Yeah, maybe. I think the eco strategy. Oh, they changed things up. Convict's gone for the, the decoy grenade here. Ah. The eco, so I'm interested to see what he's going to do with that. Here it comes. Powerful so he's got, weapon. He's got the lineup. Oh. I imagine he's been working on that one. Yep. Yeah. Okay, there so it is. follow that. That's going to be a big part. Onto the corner. This is, that, this is actually very interesting. We haven't seen this yet. So you can jump up there now to the boosted position uh, by yourself. That's a, a really nice way to mix things up. Instead of just being isolated in the corner, some different variations of the, uh, that angle to hold. Should be a pretty convincing round here for Team Toxic, but the first frag. We'll go in favor of a lead. USPs and one deagle here. Oh, this is actually... The dink. This is going to be the most oh, awkward no. way, Twist. No, He's no, handing no, no, out no, no. all the dinks. Not the full eco. Twist and a lead. They're on the full eco and already have found three between them. Leave Steel and Nitro. You said they had to eco. It turns out that was the, uh, the formula. Oh, it's actually and going to config. config loves a knife. He loves He's had it. some fa favorable situations like this. Steel. Steel. Not no. like this. No. Steel. Oh. Steel. He steals it. We started this show match with knives. We finish it the same. My A whole goodness. lot of fun.
Well then, that was fun. That definitely is the operative word. I think it absolutely <laughs> had it all. We got to demonstrate the new positions, the new ideas, the new ways of holding things, especially the, the boosts and yeah. stacks that were coming through. Sal, are you satisfied with what you saw today? Are you happy with how it has played out? Yeah, I'm really happy with what I saw there. And thank you to both of you for having me on the cast. It's been an honor to be up here with you Oh, guys. it's been an absolute honor to Honestly. have you up here as well. Yeah. Thank you so much for bringing this new, exciting version of Cash to our doorstep. I'm very excited to see how this one evolves. I'm sure the players have enjoyed that as well. Cash is an iconic map, and it looks like it's getting better and better. It's aesthetically pleasing, and now we've got the adjustment to the CT side. It looks like it's getting toward that point where I really want to see it go. A nice, perfect position towards middle, especially. I'm just really excited to see what happens with time. Seeing professional players, given the pressure,